with hospitalizations and ICU occupancy on the rise. The Ontario government began distributing the Pfizer COVID treatment pill called Paxlovid to select pharmacies. Now, the pill has been effective in reducing hospitalization and death for at-risk people who test positive for the virus. But there's a process in obtaining the drug, which we'll try to clear up now. Paxlovid, the pill from Pfizer that reduces hospitalization and death for at-risk people with COVID-19, has been praised by medical professionals across Ontario. We don't come across medicines like this very often. Uh, in, that, in the major trial that was done, that was published in the New England Journal, this medicine stopped 100% of the, of the deaths in the high-risk people that they tested it in. large chunk of people who are immunocompromised, uh, who had multiple medical conditions, where absolutely, you know, accessing this drug is going to change their prognosis and bring them down to a point of a healthy person that's triple vaccinated in terms of their risk of hospitalization. The province announced that shipments of Paxlovid to participating pharmacies started today. A full and expanding list of pharmacies will be published tomorrow. I know that uh, Ralston's IDA and the shoppers drug marts are, are going to be stocking it. Uh, that's as much as I've been able to confirm so far. Those who have COVID and are at risk simply cannot walk into a pharmacy to get it now. People who think they have COVID should be tested first by either their family doctor or from the numerous testing sites across Ontario. If they're positive and deemed at risk, a prescription can be written up and the patient can then pick up the drug from a pharmacy. Dr. Zane Chagla and Dr. Matthew Strouth both say that the next step is education and awareness on the availability of the drug. They've been told for six months to stay at home if you have COVID and go, don't go out, that we can't offer you anything. Where the complete opposite is true and people that are high risk, they have options. And, and again, the risk of hospitalization, even if they're vaccinated, which has reduced the risk of hospitalization significantly, even gets lower and lower. Word of mouth is, is, uh, is big here. Um, so I, I think we're going to we're going to get it that way. And I mean, luckily, with this medicine, um, it, it really is meant for high risk individuals. And it is the case that high risk individuals tend to be known to their to their physicians because they have other medical problems or going to the pharmacy anyways to pick up their other, other medicines. So hopefully we're going to get the world out quickly that way. At risk people who test positive for the virus have five days to start taking Paxlovid before efficiency dips. Ontario's Pharmacy Association has been pushing for pharmacies to be a one-stop shop for getting tested and receiving treatments. In Quebec, that's the model. They have enabled pharmacists to prescribe and pharmacists have the expertise and the education and it's about access. It's about timeliness to access because if you don't start the treatment within the five-day window of onset of uh, symptoms, then the medication isn't effective. Justin Bates from the Ontario Pharmacists Association says the Chief Medical Officer of Health for this province has the power to allow test and treat at pharmacies, but thinks that may not happen in the near future.